What's going on guys? So we are out here at my F450 and I'm gonna attempt to help go through some menus and address a question that I get quite often related to how do you set your truck to tow a certain type of trailer with a specific type of brake system on it. So we're gonna attempt to answer that question today and I'm gonna illustrate specifically how you do it on a Super Duty. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so welcome to the inside of my F450. We're looking at the dash. You know, a lot of folks ask me all the time, how many miles do I have on this truck? 37,177 miles, three and a half, four years old. So a little less than 10,000 miles per year, which, you know, I think is pretty fair considering, you know, the truck is mainly used to haul our RVs and my other trailers around and I have another vehicle and we drive my wife's vehicle a good percentage of the time as well. Okay, so what I'm about to talk to you about in this video doesn't necessarily only apply to my truck, even though the settings that I'm gonna show you are specific to a Ford Super Duty. So if you have a Chevy or a Ram vehicle, you may very well have settings like this buried in your dash and you just have to kind of figure out how to get to them. But on my specific truck, in order to make some of these changes, you know, I'm going to show you how to do it here. Now, again, if you have a Ram or a Chevy or a GMC, you're likely to have a different route to get to these settings, but hopefully they exist on your truck as well. So what you're looking at here is the computer between the gauge cluster on my truck. And most of you who have followed my brake journey on the RV, essentially where we were getting everything changed, whenever the gentleman from Dexter came on, he mentioned that most newer trucks have settings to control what type of brake system you're going to be using on a trailer that you're towing. And I'm going to show you how to get to them on a Ford truck specifically. So right here are my steering wheel controls and you have the ability to toggle through all these different settings up top. But the specific one that I want to get to here is going to be the picture of a trailer where it says towing. And then I'm going to go down to trailer setup where I currently have it on. I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to click Add Trailer. Now, I get to spell out what type of trailer. So let's put in my gooseneck trailer since my fifth wheel is already in here, and then I'll show you the fifth wheel in a second. So I'm going to go to Texas Pride. I know I could probably make these a lot shorter. And I'm going to put G... N for gooseneck. All right, now I'm gonna press OK. And here is where it's gonna let me select my brake type. My Texas Pride has electric drum brakes, so I'm gonna select default. I'm gonna put it on medium, and I'm gonna put that it is a gooseneck. All right, so that one's added. Very, very cool, very easy to set up. Now I'm gonna add another trailer. I'm gonna add my cargo trailer. And this one's gonna be a little bit different when we get into some of the other settings. And right here, I'm gonna put BLK because that trailer is black. And this is my larger cargo trailer. It's a 20 foot long cargo trailer. Okay. Now I'm gonna have a few more settings. This also has electric drum brakes. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna put braking effort on this one also at medium. It's a conventional trailer. And this is where I can set up my blind spot control. So I'm gonna hit yes. Is the trailer width less than nine feet and is the length less than 33 feet? Yes. The trailer is 24 feet total length. It's a 20 foot box and then it has a four foot A frame up front. All right. So I can now set up trailer reverse guidance if I want. And this is going to be interesting because once I have trailer reverse guidance set up, it can actually help me straighten the trailer out whenever I'm going backwards using my screen right here. But the difference here is, is that it doesn't have the automated system where I have the little knob that I can control it automatically. But I don't need to mess with that one because I actually don't have it on here right now. But that's very cool. And it says enter 
measurement A, that's the horizontal distance from the license plate to the ball center. So that on here would be from here to there. And for mine, it's about 13 inches. B is gonna be the horizontal distance from the ball to the sticker. And I don't have the sticker on here, so that's not gonna apply. I'm just gonna go through all these measurements. I can always change them later, but it's just to kind of give you an idea what's going on here. There's no sticker, so I'm just gonna exit it. Okay, so now I'm back on my trailer screen. I can hit select trailer. I'm just gonna press okay right here. And now I have my Cargo Mate Black trailer, my Brookstone, my Texas Pride Gooseneck trailer. And I can add additional trailers if I want. Default trailer is just what's set up whenever you get the vehicle, just to be able to allow you to change settings without having to go in and specifically type in the name of your trailer. You can go to default trailer, you can change trailer settings, I could add reverse guidance. I can change the guidance sticker if I had one on here. I can change the brake type on it. I can switch to electric over hydraulic or default. I put it on default because most of the time, if I'm hauling a standard trailer that's not my fifth wheel, they're all gonna have electric drum brakes and they're not gonna have the electric over hydraulic brakes that I have on the, uh, the Brookstone. So, some trailers might not have any brakes at all because they're so small, like my real compact silver cargo mate trailer that I just recently got. It doesn't have any brakes on it, so I really don't need to adjust anything or set anything because the truck has no problem actually stopping it on its own. Change braking effort. There's a lot of settings in here that give you really, really great flexibility over the trailers that you're pulling. And then to get out of here, just back up. A lot of really good settings on here. The only setting I wish that the lighter duty trucks had, basically anything that is a class three, 14,000 pound GVWR and below, I wish it had a manual regen button, but um, it doesn't. So the computer just selects whenever it's gonna do a regen. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I wanted to share this with you because again, I get a lot of people asking me how you select the right brakes for your specific towing application. And if you don't select the right choice, it can create problems in terms of the trailer not responding properly whenever you apply your brakes or not giving you as much force as you need whenever you apply your brakes or simply not even working when you apply your brakes. So all of those things matter, especially when you have different types of trailers that might use different types of brakes. So I really have all three. The only one I don't have is a surge brake system, which essentially applies the drum brake or even a disc brake as the trailer pushes against the truck whenever you come to a stop. Um, mine are all controlled through the brake controller inside of the vehicle because I do have a trailer brake controller right down here. But all the other types of brakes that are available, I pretty much have on one or more of my trailers, right? My silver cargo mate trailer, my 10 footer has no trailer brakes. My black uh, cargo mate trailer has electric drum brakes on the tandem axles. Both of my Texas Pride trailers, my gooseneck as well as my dump trailer have electric drum brakes. And my fifth wheel, the Brookstone, has uh, electric over hydraulic brakes, disc brakes. So there are two different main setups that I have to be careful of. And it's really good to be able to go into the towing section and simply select the trailer that I'm gonna be towing at that specific time. So again, makes it really simple, especially if you have different types of trailers with different types of brakes. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of on the uh, more technical side of things for folks who have different trucks. Check in your instrument cluster area. You may have the option to select different types of trailers in your truck as well. So it's definitely something you wanna be aware of if you have those features. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.